Hi and welcome to this week's edition of Connective TV. I'm Michael Gurner. This week we introduce an exciting new segment and it's sharing of tips of high performing brokers. Clint Hawthorne from AFM will join us for a quick minute just to give you a summary of how those brokers perform in the workplace. Also, obviously, as usual, we have Coxie with all the lending information. The Rock Building Society has reviewed its fixed rates. One year is 6.19%, two years 6.13%, three years 6.19% and five years 6.85%, all effective from uh, the 23rd of March. ANZ Bank has increased their two and three year fixed rates to 6.34% and 6.48% respectively, effective Friday 23rd of March 2012. The Commonwealth Bank is decreasing its one year fixed and one year fixed guaranteed rate and increasing its two year rate effective, which was effective from Friday the 16th of March 2012. On a lighter note, Sam Bohr and Phil Chant from Commonwealth Bank are willing to shave their heads for the world's greatest shave. If they can raise $5,000, Phil will shave his head. If they get to $10,000, Sam will do as well. Go to the Leukaemia Foundation website if you would like to make a donation. IntelliTrain remind us that the deadline for the diploma is fast approaching, which is the 30th of June 2012. To assist brokers, they are offering special training sessions. Refer to the flyer in this week's bulletin for more detail. MKM Capital has advised changes to their rates and fees on their long-term products and released a new product, MKM Private. Bank of Melbourne is running a series of accreditation roadshows in April 2012 for Melbourne brokers. The roadshow dates are detailed in the Bank of Melbourne flyer. Liberty Commercial remind us that small businesses may be able to secure a Liberty debtor finance facility which they can use to repay an outstanding ATO debt in full, thus avoiding personal liabilities and get their businesses back on track, typically at a much more attractive terms than an ATO arrangement. Collins Home Loans has decreased the variable rate on their 95% non-genuine savings loan and also decreased their one-year fixed rates and increased their three- and five-year fixed rates, all effective from the 19th of March 2012. And as always, to find out more, refer to the lender flyers in the weekly bulletin. Thanks Michael. As Michael said, we've got a hot new segment on Connective TV called The Habits of High Performing Brokers. Now over the next 12 weeks we're going to be joined by Clint Hawthorne at Australian First Mortgage. Clint, what are we going to be covering? Okay, over the next 12 weeks we'll be going through the process of a lending transaction from cradle to grave. From the time the consumer picks up the phone and calls a mortgage broker, right the way through to the transaction settling and the delivery truck pulling out of the driveway. So you'll be covering the mistakes that brokers make and the solutions? Yes, the theme over the, over the coming weeks will be identifying the problems that brokers face at the point of sale and then trying to deliver a solution. That's great. And where are we starting this week? Uh, the first point of uh, habits of high performing brokers is all about the initial customer contact and how a broker qualifies the customer over the phone. Let's get to it. Great. The Habits of High Performing Brokers was really a project that came about off the back of my involvement with the MFAA Council. At council level, what we were trying to achieve is to provide some additional education and training to brokers. Conversion at the time became something that was really quite important, so what we did as a council was to really try and understand what a high converting broker did that was different to a low converting broker. So in gathering that information, basically what we did was interview a large number of high converting brokers and try and determine what they did that was different to a low converting broker. In surveying our high converting brokers, here's a summary of the information that we gathered. All high converting brokers often look for a broad understanding of the customer's financial situation. The qualifying of the customer over the phone is a critical step. The use of service providers like RP Data, Residex and Vader was also something that was very common amongst high converting brokers and a positive attitude was highly important as well. At this stage of the lending transaction, there are a number of issues that a broker can face. Are you too abrupt with your tone of voice? 
Are you too pushy to get the interview? Are you just too picky about the deal size or the deal complexity? Or are you dealing with a customer who's a tyre kicker and just not interested? Following are the top seven reasons why brokers may not proceed past the pre-qualification stage of a lending transaction. When pre-qualifying a customer, it's important that you try and establish rapport as quickly as possible. Also, make sure that you explain your value proposition and why the customer is going to deal with you. Gathering as much important personal information about the customer is critical. You're also trying to find a common path with your customer and some common ground. Make sure you understand the purpose of their inquiry and most importantly, make sure that they feel relaxed. At this stage of the lending transaction, it's also vitally important from an NCCP point of view that you gather all the information that you've received from the customer. Thanks very much. Don't forget to tune in to Connective TV next week. We will concentrate on the initial customer contact and the art of qualifying over the phone. Well, thanks, Clint, and thanks, Coxie, for all of that information. I hope you're all enjoying the exciting changes that we're making to Connective TV because at the end of the day, you're the one that's most important. That's all for this week. I'm Michael Gurner. Thank you.